Hey what's up guys, Bentagar here, this is your tutorial for Cube World on how to edit models. So the three folders you will need is your models folder, the CWME folder and the asset browser. You can find downloads for the CWME model editor and also the asset browser in the description. So the first thing we're going to go into is the asset browser. This basically enables you to get the files out of Cube World as they are sort of um, point of these data files and you need to extract them from them. So when you open up the uh, asset browser you click on file open and you should already have Cube World highlighted. Um, but if you don't it's in program files x86 for most people and then Cube World. You open up Cube World directly and this will present you with these four data files here which contain all of the models for the game Cube World. So yeah, the one we're going to use today is the, uh, well, let's have a look. Uh, we're going to use the airship one today. Um, we're going to swap this around with the glider model. So first thing we need to do is extract it. We're going to extract it into our models folder. So we need to go back to our cube world editing uh, folder here. Go into the models folder and we'll need to create a new one. Which we're going to call, uh, let's see what we're going to call it. We're going to call it airship. There we go. Right, let's save our model into here. Right, there we go, there we're done. Right then, let's get this opened. Uh, we go into the Airship folder, you can see that it's in there. And to open it, we go into the CWME folder. Uh, which is here. There we go, CWME. This is basically the model editor that you will use to edit all of the models. It's pretty similar to the actual um, item customization uh, screen that you get in-game. Which is really really cool, it means that it's really easy to use. It'd be a really cool idea actually to have this on a phone as an app actually to uh, pull up the models and be able to edit them like that, that'd be really cool, yeah. So first thing, just open up the uh, airship file that you've just saved into your models folder. These are a few of the controls, for example, control Z, control Y is undo and redo, much like paint. You can toggle the wireframe and you can toggle the grid, grid extend because some of the models will be locked to that grey grid area that you can see there. So you can open it up so that you can make the models even bigger. This helps with things like boats and things like that. For example, when I created the uh, uh, King of the Red Lions boat for Zelda, I had to basically make the grid bigger. You can also left click to place a block, right click to uh, remove a block. You can use the middle mouse button to rotate the camera around. You can also uh, hold C, I think, for color picker and then click on things and that'll basically allow you to copy the color of that block instead of having to keep a, a note of what exact color it is in the palette as when you do open up the program again it doesn't actually have all of your preset colors saved that you've maybe saved again you can also change the background so this is what i've decorated the, the airship like we're going to go ahead and save that over the airship file in our models folder again and that's basically it for all you need to know for the model editing program it's very very easy to use one of the things you will need to do however is on the on the airship sorry you will need to rename it to glider as you are replacing it with the glider texture so that's basically all you need to do if you follow the installation tutorial i have in the description and in the uh outro you can basically install it through that let's have a look at it in the game so this looks really really cool hopefully this is included as maybe an upgrade to the glider in future versions of the game and um, that's basically it from me. If you found this useful, please leave a rating. And as always, subscribe for more Cubo content. I do upload daily. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Make sure to suggest what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. See you guys there.